right, it's Monday. Go. <laughs> I'm still on the 90 year old <laughs> Um, I moved the camera because down on the dash it was kind of mounted in an angle. And that the camera is inside an aluminum case so that we can change the lenses. And the, all the sticky tape I found just went all over it and kept falling. So mounted it up on the windshield. Got a little short audio cable like this long. It runs right over to the microphone, which is pointing straight down. So we're hoping, and it's closer to Donna. So I'm hoping, you guys can always hear my loud mouth, but her mouth not so much. So I'm hoping with it closer to her, maybe you guys be able to hear her a little better now. And I thought you said I had a big and mouth. I'm also hope. well, you do, but <laughs> only when you want it to be. Um, I'm also hoping that now it doesn't pick up truck noise because before it was kind of just free hanging like this. So it was what picking up vibration and noises through the cab and that. And now we've got it mounted kind of up under the, the top console here. So hopefully it's clear. If not, I'll figure it out when I uh, do the video tonight. We won't put it back up there. We'll let it hang somewhere. Yep. All right, so we are 21,000 pounds, heading out to Salt Lake City, back out to Han. Um, should get there, oh, wow, we're back still at 2.30. I made, I made up a half hour. We're in um, Grand Island, Nebraska, and I made up a half hour this morning. But then you lose it for that stupid break. I hate that stupid break. Oh, yeah, my God, right. I wish the DOT would do away with that stupid half-hour break. I have no desire to take that break during the day when I'm driving. No, it makes you more tired. Oh, it does. I mean, when you first start taking it, it's like, oh, my, you get so irritated. And then, you know, 15 minutes into it, you're tired. You get tired from just sitting there waiting for the clock to count down. Especially when you're a night driver. Yeah, it makes me more tired taking that stupid break than just continuing. I mean, do away with it. Do away with it. Stupid. Um, anyway. When I'm driving at night, I can I can just go, but as soon as I stop and relax, mm -hmm. then I'm relaxed and I just want to sleep. Well, it's like Christmas dinner. You said eat meat, meat like a <laughs> hog, but as soon as you stop eating and you sit uh, down, then all of a sudden you're tired. You know, and you just uh, I hate that break. They need to do away with it. Well, they should give you the option. I mean. If you're tired, then stop and take a break. If you're not, keep going. It yeah. should give you that option. It shouldn't be a stupid computer telling you, hey, you have to stop, you, you're tired, you need to take a break. Yeah, and companies should just honor that. They should say, you know, the DOT should say, if they want to take their half hour break, you have to allow them to take that half hour break. I would be fine with it because you know what? I would drive right through that stinking thing because I have no desire to take it instead of making us take it. It's so stupid. Anyway, um, should get out there at 2 o'clock-ish, two depending on how Wyoming is. As long as they don't shut uh, 80 down in Wyoming, which it's open right now. Um, as long as they don't shut that down for wind, we should be okay. Because I don't think they have any weather going through there today. I through Wyoming. Um, it was orange this morning, but that was due to fog. Just low visibility. So that's, a, that's the only warnings they had this morning. Um, but yeah, come out Salt Lake. Wyoming is our like arched enemy. <laughs> it, it's uh, trying to get through there uh, without them shutting you down is, is the tricky part. And we're pretty light. Yeah, so that's our that's our downfall. Does anybody watch Indiana Jack and find out that he is quitting trucking besides me? Oh my God, it's just been. Dean's a little upset by that news. God, it's been eating at me all weekend. I can't believe somebody that. I don't know if he puts on a different face for the camera, but if he doesn't, he seems like somebody that really loves trucking, and to see him go out of trucking and go into dispatch and safety just blew my mind when I watched that video Saturday. I was like, Whoa. I mean, I was like, what the heck? I was more surprised about that than I was when Obama got elected a second term. <laughs> yeah, I was blown away. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Um, I don't know, I mean, good luck to him. God, I mean, good luck to him to be able to be home every night and all that. I mean, that's that's a big plus, but wow, I couldn't believe he did it. I could probably do it with the understanding, like if Hummer come to us and said, hey, you know, Donna, you want to go and be a dispatch, and Dean, you can go in and work in safety or something like that. I would do it with the understanding that if I went absolutely nuts, that they would let me go back in the truck. 
that would be my that would be my deal. I would say I would do it, but well, if I ever want to go back in a truck, you gotta let me go back in the maybe truck. Maybe they'll give you like a day trip. Oh yeah, maybe something back. like that. You could do like a one week out every month or something. That would be okay. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, wait, wait, Tomer. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so. Uh, the weekend, our son moved out and his wife, and they took our grandson. I don't know who they think they are, but they took our <laughs> grandson with them. So that was kind of sucky. Um, but we good. get visitation on weekends, though. Yeah, he's lived with us literally ever since the day he was born. So that's kind of rough. Yeah. Um, we're going to have to get used to that. Yeah, it's been pretty depressing. Yeah, so. But, yeah. Know, they grow up and they move out, so ain't nothing you can do about it. And he is married and has a kid, so <laughs> I guess it's time to let him go. They can go. We it wasn't them, went. it was we more her grandson. <laughs> and I know that sounds bad, but it's the truth. It was more the grandson that kind of choked us up when he left. Yeah. But, um, but anyway, yeah, so that's what happened over the weekend. Other than that, we didn't really do anything. Just kind of lounged around the house. Um, really? I didn't spend all weekend <laughs> She cleaned. I was down in my workshop building something, which I'll be posting the video. And again, like I said, if you guys don't want to watch, you know, when I do these little projects like in woodworking, then just skip past them. Don't, you know, don't, don't leave comments saying, oh, this might not do with trucking. Well, I know that, but there, it's a project that has to do with, kind of, indirectly has to do with our job. You'll understand when the video comes out, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, and I know a few of you on the last one said, oh, now you're right down my alley. I love this. So there are some of you that want to watch it. And if you don't want to watch it, um, or if you do want to watch it, I've got a woodworking channel on YouTube also, um, Shade Tree Woodworking. Go over there and subscribe to that. I mean, I don't put much up there here lately, but you can go over and watch my past videos there. Um, so, yeah, I worked on a project that I'm working on for... A gift. Something I can't say. It's a gift. Yeah, so... I've been working on that. She cleaned all weekend for the most part, and um, that was pretty much our weekend. I enjoyed cleaning. Yeah. I, I was back to my roots. I love it. So we're I going to happy. Salt Lake, dropping this in Salt Lake. We got a reload right back out of Salt Lake, a preload that's sitting there waiting for us right now. It's going back to Kansas, which I don't think we'll deliver because I don't deliver until Thursday, so I'm assuming we're going to drop it either in Shawnee or Gretna, one of the two at the terminal. Um, and we did get a hold of our dispatcher and found out what it weighed so that we don't have an issue with the stupid fuel issue. And we're only 19,000 coming out of Salt Lake, so that would be a good thing. Especially climbing out of Salt Lake, that's never fun heavy. With us getting in there somewhat early, then it's, it's yeah, we'll, a lot we'll, better we'll be out coming out traffic. of Salt Lake with no traffic because yeah. of that. Depending on her backing skill tonight, bill. she should get out of there pretty quick. So <laughs> Depends on where they put us. What dock they put us in, yeah. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, that's that's about it for the update. Uh, I just took my break. I got four hours left to drive. Um, I don't know. I could probably make it past Sydney, but that's where we always stop. So Yeah, we're not changing our routine. <laughs> I mean, I might be able to make it into Cheyenne. Mm -hmm. We'll see. If I can make it into Cheyenne, I'm going to Cheyenne. Otherwise, we'll just stop in Sydney. Next week, we'll have a full week next week, but next week will be it. We are off. Oh, we just talked about that today. We're going to sleep so much. Uh, I don't know if I brought it up, but teams should get a one-week vacation. All companies, if any companies are watching this, including Hummer, I mean, I'm being dead serious about this. Teams should get one week's vacation in their first year of, of employment. And I don't say that because we're a team. I say that because we run nonstop, non 24 hours a day, five, six days a week, we run nonstop. We get burned out really fast. I understand that solos do too, but solos are able to stop every relax. night and relax. Sitting back there while she's driving or while I'm driving is not a 10 hour break. Believe me, by any means, any stretch of the imagination, it's not a 10 hour break. We get burned out really fast because we're nonstop. I say between zero and six months, you don't get anything when you first start a company. From six months, as soon as you hit your six month mark, you should get a one week vacation. 
you should get a one week vacation between that six months and your one year. I fully agree with that and I don't even think it because we're a team because even if I was solo, now that I know what it's like to run team, I would be wishing that for teams. Well, we, we really do get burned out fast, and that's why we're taking Christmas off. We do every year, but this year especially. Well, and that's why we each get a week off a year. Yeah. He'll take his paid, I'll take mine unpaid, and then I'll take mine paid, and he'll take mine unpaid. And that way we can get two weeks off because it's just... <laughs> you really you do just need, need to relax. You just need to wind down because yeah. even when you go home on the weekends, you're not really relaxing because you got to do home stuff that you had to do, and then Sunday spent all day getting stuff ready to go back out on the road with the truck, and it's just... Yeah. It, it's not relaxing. It's yeah. just it's stress. Even though we're about to hit our one year within a few months here, I would. I mean, honestly, if Hummer asked me, do you have any suggestions for us? If any of the guys from Hummer are watching, that would be my suggestion, honestly. If, if you hire a team, give them one week after six months, any time after six months, because you really do need it. That's kind of a neat little, neat little Toyota pickup flatbed, if you can see that. It's kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, so that's about it. That's about the update on everything, right? You guys know the routine going out in Salt Lake. I mean, there's nothing there. It's just flat. This is it. They tell you it, Wyoming. I mean, we so. took some video of the snow in Iowa. That was pretty. Yeah, you guys saw the video of the trees with the frost on them this morning. That was nice. Um, other than that, there's not really a lot to show you guys between here and Salt Lake till she gets to Salt Lake and hopefully sets up the camera this time. Well, last time I did, you couldn't see anything. I, I still was able to pick it up. I still made a video out of it. I brightened it a little, if you can see it. Um, so, is that it? Do you have anything to rebut or otherwise add? No. Good to go? Okay. Alright, so that'll be it. This is enough rambling for now. And I think to myself, what a wonderful What a wonderful world